They're always, they're never good. Talk about the food you done. Hi, everybody. How's everyone? Oh. 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 How's everybody doing? I don't know if this is the, uh, the right filter either. Wow. Pretty lady. Um... How's everybody doing? I'm in London. Oh, I think this is the Gus Dapperton filter. I like that. I'm reading your comments, you guys. How's everybody doing? Hello around the world. I feel silent. I feel like you guys should, uh, if you want to ask me something, please go ahead, ask me any questions you want. I know, what would our life be without filters at this point? I mean, thank God. <laughs> oh, missing me in LA. Well, I, I do miss LA as well, but um, having a good time out here in London. Did you see, oh, you saw me on the one show. Yeah, I just finished a, an appearance on the one show with Brian and Roger, satellite uh, feed all the way in. Um, yeah. That hair, how much hairspray? Actually, not that much hairspray. It's more wax that I use. And then a little hairspray on top. I've been a fan since I was four. Do you know how old that makes me feel? <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions for me? How am I? I am... I am great. Thank you for asking. When are you going to be in Brazil again? Oh, man. I I know like, world travel right now is a bit difficult, as I'm sure you guys understand. I can't wait to get out there again. Uh, the shirt? The shirt is Gucci. It's a Gucci shirt. You know, I'm obsessed with my Gucci. How's the musical production going? The musical is going really well. Um, it's still early days, um, but my collaborators and I are definitely excited and we're getting some momentum going and there's lots of ideas, so it's exciting. Can we expect a solo tour in 2021? More original material. I have been working on some songs a bit. Um, I'm gonna keep doing that, so we will see what next year holds. I think everything is dependent on what's going on in the world for all of us that are in the live, live entertainment business. I live in London, are you doing a show? Uh, I'm not gonna be in a show, I'm helping to create one. A musical show. Your villain, oh, lost you guys there for a minute, sorry. Yeah, I'm sad the tour was canceled too. It was a shame. Um, Everyone's health and safety obviously is the most important thing. So hope everybody's keeping safe out there and wearing your mask. Come on, be smart. You love my outfit on the one show. Thank you. Uh, it, yes, I kind of went for it. It's the one show, but I decided to wear all the pearls that I could find. <laughs> I look like I've been trapped in a clam for my whole life or something. I am so excited for the Queen Around the World album. Um, for those of you who don't know, Brian and Roger and I um, are putting out a, a, a live disc, a live compilation, an album for streaming as well. Those of you who are on Spotify or Apple Music or whatever, you guys can find it. And it's sort of the best of the best of the past seven years of touring with each other. So that's very exciting. Uh, it comes out on October 2nd. Will I be back in the States to vote? Yes, most likely. Um, I've already um, I've already registered for um, an absentee ballot so I can vote from wherever, which is great. Um, but I definitely will be voting. You can count on that. It's more important this year than I think ever in my lifetime.
I keep saying this. I, I think I posted something about, it, but everyone should watch the Social Dilemma on Netflix. It's very enlightening, very interesting. Talking about the way that we are sent news, and um, it's kind of it's it's kind of an explanation why things tend to be a bit divided right now, both in the United States and around the world. So it's definitely worth checking out. It's it's an eye opener. Please vote. Right, Tyler? Right? <laughs> oh, how about that one? I like that. I am the light, 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 light. I keep, lo you guys, I'm sorry. I keep losing the connection. I think my internet's a little rough. I just wanted to come on here to say hi. I miss you guys so much being on the road. Been talking with Brian and Roger, um, promoting this new album coming up and it's making me miss touring so much. Sing new eyes. You got those new eyes, honey. Virgin like blue sky, sunny. Everything that you try, everything gets you high, baby. I've been so blind without your new eyes, without your new eyes, without your new eyes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's from Velvet. Um, you know, I've said this before, but. Um, I'm so proud of Velvet as an album, which came out in March, and a week later, everything got canceled. So that was a bit sad, but hopefully those of you who got a chance to check it out, hopefully you enjoy it. Um, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do a tour or do much TV promotion, or any promotion for that matter, but um, sp spread the word if you can. It's, a, it's something I'm really proud of. The musical will only be in London. Not necessarily. Um, you know, with musical theater, uh, developing a musical, it takes a really long time. So this is early, early days. I don't know exactly where or when it's going to be put on stage. Um, I think we're a ways out from that, um, especially with live entertainment being sort of on pause right now. So now is the time to create and to get it really perfect for everybody. And then hopefully when it's ready and when the world's ready, we'll put something out there. Am I in London on my own? What do you mean? What do you mean on my own? What does that mean? Um, I know people here. <laughs> So no, I'm not on, I mean, I'm, I, I sleep alone, you know. Um, <laughs> is it about George Michael? No, it's not about George Michael, although I do love George Michael. Oh yeah, there were two shows for Velvet, the one at the Bowery in New York, and we did one at the El Rey in the US. It wasn't the official tour, but it was definitely featuring all that live music. I know, I missed that, that was really fun. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Frozen. Do I know any Russian words? Nyet. Privet. I'm just swaying to no music. Anybody else have anything to ask me? Any other questions? Oh, you were at the Bowery too, Joan. Oh, cool. That was a special night. I had a lot of fun. Hi from the Netherlands, hello. Front row at the Bowery, that was a nice night. I really enjoyed that. Would you do a collaboration with Sam Smith? Yeah, if, if the right thing came up, that'd be fun. Pharaoh was good, Pharaoh was with my father and my stepmother and um, he's loving life in San Diego and he's very happy there. He's got a sister, another dog. Um, and I, you know, I do miss him. I can't wait to get back and steal him back. <laughs> ah, Pink. Wish you and Pink would collaborate. That would be cool. I love Pink. And you know that she wrote What Do You Want From Me, from those of you who didn't know that. That was, she wrote that song. And then I got it. It was a nice gift. 
I'm a big fan of hers. When will you come to Finland? I was supposed to come. I was, but it didn't work out. Will you come with a concert in Russia? I don't know, you guys. I, I don't have any way of knowing the future right now, unfortunately. Oh, no, I didn't get another dog. My dad and my stepmom have another dog. So when my when Pharaoh goes down there, he hangs out with that dog. Florida misses you. Oh, I miss Florida. I love it down there. Will you still go on the road with Christina? As of now, no, um, which I'm also very disappointed about because that would have been so much fun. I'm a big Christina Aguilera fan. I think everything, you know, is sort of up in the air right now. It's really hard to sort of say. Um, and I love you guys for being excited and asking questions about the future, but I don't know. I don't know. Better to ask me questions about the past. <laughs> Who is the woman in black behind you? <laughs> That's my manager. She just had to run to get the door. Great. She hates being on camera. Um, what do you want from me? Amazing song. Thank you. What's my favorite song from Velvet? Um, God, it's hard to say. I, you know, I've told you guys this a million times. I'm crap at picking favorites. I can't ever pick a favorite anything. Um, I mean, they're all my favorites. That's why they made the album. I mean, there's a lot of songs that didn't make the cut because they were not my favorites. What is the scent of the candle in your background? Um, it is Japanese amber from Byredo, and it smells unbelievable. Chris from Minnesota, was it easy to come out? You know, once I did come out to my parents, my parents were really cool. I'm lucky. I had a very liberal upbringing. Um, and they were really cool about it, but I was kind of nervous about it. I kept putting it off and I kept like holding back because I didn't know what was going to happen and I didn't feel comfortable. So, uh, once I did though, it was really easy. Velvet deserves a tour. I know. I wish I could tour it. I know guys. What's your favorite album? Um, Velvet. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, oh, Halloween costume ideas. Um, yeah, I have a couple. We'll see. So listen, I'm going to head out. I have some more um, work stuff to do, but I was just wanting to say hello, and I miss you guys, and I love you. Stay safe and vote, those of you who are American. Please vote. Do the right thing. <laughs>